time for another fiddlehead fiddle lesson. Gonna do the tune Fisher's Horn by, as usual, I'll play it first, mid tempo, and then we'll learn it together, note by note, building up little phrases and then parts of tunes and then putting together the whole thing. So here it goes. So I'm gonna start out. In case you are new to fiddlehead, all left hand fingerings are in the comments field below. So you can check it out there along with other useful video lesson links. Here we go. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's do this thing. First quarter of the A part. Well, actually, first within any tune, I suggest playing the scale for it. So this, play the D scale just a little bit before getting started. Play it with variations too until you're warmed up and you have the scale in your fingers and in your ear. Well, let's just start. Third finger on A to open A. Then on D string to open. Putting that together. If you're familiar with the word triads, that's a triad. I'm not gonna explain it now, but I will put a link to a triads introduction video. That sounded so nerdy. Um, all right. Next little bit is repeated a ton, so let's get it down well. That little bit's really repeated a lot. It starts D3 to A1. And then adding open A. And then D3 again. Very key piece, it's played a ton in the song. All right, so the, starting from the beginning. Once more. All right, let's move on to the next phrase. Starting second on D, we're gonna go two, one, open two. Again. And then we do this little phrase again. So the whole second phrase is again. First phrase. Second phrase. Now we'll put together the whole the first quarter. If 
any part of that was unclear, please rewind and watch. I think it was all, I think you'll find everything you need to know if you rewind a bit and if you're still confused. So now I'm going to take that and add what's called a pickup. I like to add the pickups later. I find it less confusing for somehow. So we're going to do this piece. That's the first quarter again. But we're going to add this to it, sort of a lead in. One, two on A. So it'll sound like one, two, three, four, and. So again, the pickup is one, two, on A. I'm going to count you in more slowly now, and we'll do the same thing more slowly. One, two, and three, and. Let's move on. Second quarter starts like this. Two open, two open on D. And then we do this little bit again. See, I told you it comes back all the time. So the first phrase, second quarter, is... Here's that again. Second phrase of the second quarter starts like this. Two, three, open, two, D. So it's two, three on D, open A, D two again. Let me add one on D. Okay, and then we're kind of done with the second quarter after that. So, the whole second quarter, listen. Again. I'm now going to play the whole first half. I'm going to count you in slowly, listen at first. And then join in. Maybe rewind and join in. One, two, three, four, and All right, have fun with that. Pause. Make sure you have that before you move on, because if you have that down, the second half of the A part will be pretty easy, I think. Um, so now that you've unpaused the video and you're, we're back, I'm going to start the third quarter. Third quarter's, um, gosh, it's just the same as the first, I guess. I did the pickup with it too. So aren't you glad you paused the video and practiced that first half so much? Because now that third quarter is like nothing, it's like easy. So the fourth quarter is all we need to finish out the A part. Let's break it down. Starting two on D, two, three, A, two, three, open A. Then add three on A. With any of these little pieces, just as a side note, a practice note, you could create your own exercises and really get better at the fiddle just with fiddle tunes by writing your own exercise book. That's a great little thing you could just cycle, and if you got good at it, you would be way better, at, at te technically speaking. 
Then you could do it on G or A. Let's get back to the tune though, starting two on D. Building up the fourth quarter, the A part. And then that's followed by two on A, three on A, open E, A2. So the whole first phrase of this fourth quarter. A little slower. And then we the end the fourth quarter with this. So that's on A, 3-1. Three, 3-1 one. Three, one open on A, then on D, 2 open. Listen to the whole fourth quarter slowly. And again. Okay, um, since you know the third quarter, and the third quarter is the same as the first, I'm just going to play the whole second half with the pickup note. One, two, three. I'm just gonna play the entire A part with the pickups, okay? Slowly again. One and two and three and. Oops, I messed it up. I don't want to film a new video, so I'm going to start it over. That's how it starts over. Okay. All right. So, all right. I'm just gonna keep rolling, um, but you should pause now and just get that A part mastered. Well, at least get good at it enough that you can play it, you know, without stopping. All right. And now we'll move on to the B part. Um, so we're gonna start with open E to some notes on the A string. It's two open two on the A. Another great exercise. This is an A major triad for you music nerds who know what triads mean. All right, and that's followed by this. All on the E string, open, low two, one open. First phrase of the B part. Again. Moving on to the second phrase, which starts first on E to some notes on the A string. That's one on the E, three on the A, open A, three on the A. It's a great exercise. Both of these. Um, you could just cycle that as a technique builder. That is a D major triad. I'm gonna post a link 
to triads below, just kind of some practice stuff for them. But if you get them down, then they pop up in tunes all the time. And learning tunes like this will be a lot easier if you know a few like scales, triads, and some patterns and things. It really helps. And then, all on the E, we're going to go 1, 3, low 2, 1. Second phrase of the B part. And again. First phrase. Second phrase. Notice how they have kind of a similar shape, but the second phrase starts a note higher. All right? Now, um, so putting together those two things, we have the first quarter. Listen to it. Again. Actually, no, before we do it again, I'm going to add the pickup notes, which is 2 3 on A. So, this is how it will work getting into the B part. 1 and 2 and 3 and There's that again. One, two, three, four, and... Cool. Moving on to the second quarter. Second quarter begins like the first quarter with this. So we're already half of the way there on the second quarter, and then we're going to add something. The second phrase of the second quarter is this. I made it a little simpler because that frees us up to learn it more quickly and then learn variations later. So in my version, it's a little simpler than you may hear it on recordings. Three, one. Alright, so if you're a more advanced player, bear with me. I'll have a video up which will be more challenging on that for, for the tune later. So, here it is again. Here's the whole second quarter of the B part. And again. Now I'm going to play the whole first half. If you forgot the first quarter, please rewind. Otherwise, I'm going to start with the pickup, counting in, counting you in. One, two, three. Excellent, excellent. Moving on to third quarter of the B part. Starting first on A, and then on D string we're going to go three, open three. Remember we did this earlier, but starting on the E string. And this makes a G major triad. See how important these triad things are? Now, after that, we do this. One, three, two, one on A. Next phrase of the third quarter is this. That's open A, D2, open D2, and then back to A twice. 
All those notes are D major triad. Okay. Putting together the third quarter, the B part. And again. Okay, let's finish this baby off. Let's do the fourth quarter. So the variant, well, no, we'll save that. So it starts like this, first on A to D3. And then back to first on A. Then add three on A. And do that again. Followed by on A, 2, 3, opening A2. So this whole phrase is... Here it is again. And then we end with the same ending from the A part. Handy. So the whole fourth quarter is cool again. Awesome work. I'm now going to play the whole second half and then we'll put the whole thing together whole second half of the B part. And now the whole B part with the pickup and then I'm going to cycle back to the B again a little bit so you can see how it fits together just like I did with the A part. Um, one, two, three. And so on. I paused it a little too long at the end there. So for seeing how the pickups work, you can rewind to the very beginning of the video in which I play the whole thing A A B B. That is two times to the first part, two times to the second part. All right. Well, that was really fun for me to show you this tune. Like I said, I'm gonna have some more videos on this, more advanced videos, and play along trap so you can. Uh, play along with guitar and a very simple beat and practice kind of help you keep your time and stuff and that's about it see ya thanks for watching the video excellent